All right, here's how you do it. Get your tripod set up. You take this little guy. And you set that to the correct latitude where you're at. And then that bolt goes in there. Don't jump out the window, Gypsy. There's a level right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to push down on the legs. One leg at a time. Give a little bump there. All right, we're pretty good right there. Now we're going to mount the tracker itself. It has a pretty big dovetail on the bottom. You can see that. Have pretty level floors. I'm going to slide that in there. There's no adjustment to this. It's just as tight as you can get it. It's pretty solid. What I usually do is turn this to one of the legs that's closest by tightening it and use that leg to point north. Now this leaves the little screw on the top and that's going to go into the ball mount that I have and there are the controls. There you go, it's got the solar tracking, lunar tracking half, and one. And you can change it by using these buttons. So let's put that. That looks pretty good. Put the counterweight on. Check the balance. Yeah, this should look pretty good once the camera's on there. All right, last but not least, put the camera on there. See how it balances. A little too much here. That's 
pretty good. Cube right there. All right. Pop off this little lens. that when you're adjusting that weight to make this thing swing with that big heavy lens that when you're all done you tighten this back up that's like a clutch so you pull that apart level your rig and then tighten that back up you can center it right up in the middle when you go out to make you feel better and more balanced that's just fine. And then what you do is once you can see Polaris, you go ahead and you look through this finder straight out the front. And you put Polaris in those markings with whatever the application polar scope from iOptron tells you. And that's pretty simple. All you do is you go to the Ioptron app. It tells you your time, longitude, latitude, elevation, temperature, barometric pressure, Polaris's position, and your radius. 38.8 arc minutes. I don't even know what that means. Haha. <laughs> you can see that green dot. Let's see. You can see that green dot, and that's where you want to put Polaris in this finder. This little guy, when you're looking through it, you want to adjust this rig using these side to side. Don't adjust it up and down. Always keep it locked in right there. You can adjust your legs a little bit if you're out of level, because when once you set this thing up, it's a little heavier, and sometimes it'll go out of level. Make sure all your knobs are tight. And then basically, once you get your polar scope set up, You can use the clutch to turn this. You can just lightly loosen your ball mount. You can do whatever you want with that. You can turn it, open it here, spin it this way and that way. That's what's nice about the ball mount. And then there's a notch on this side right here. You can see that notch. If you're going to want to point it straight up, you need to make that notch back here, and then you can actually lay that camera down when you loosen this up over here. That gives you a little more room to operate. You always make sure that you're on the right latitude, because if you start shooting, getting this thing going in the wrong latitude, it'll just uh, it'll just be tracking completely wrong. Yeah, and it'll make trails in your stars. All right, well, I hope that helps you out. Go on out and have some fun. Look at that big old fish eye. I'm gonna go out and use that right now. Later. Tina. Pretty bird. Come on out. out here huh what are we gonna set up that's good
guy looks pretty weird. Right here. Yeah. Right there. That's how you do it. Ciao, girl. Coming through. You gonna hang out with me, huh? You gonna help me out? All right. Ooh, I sold 6,400. Thank you. Let's get that palm tree in there. Alright. Yeah. That's good. 